now I am excited to introduce to you some people who are going to share the smart solutions using their phone to reduce hunger and eliminate waste. Today we have with us Laura Labbett. Laura has almost 20 years experience in the community-based food service area and she is now Fresh Food Connect Product and Operations Director and she is excited to provide more opportunities to connect food and communities nationwide. Super excited to, to be here and share a bit about Fresh Food Connect with you. So Fresh Food Connect uh, at its core premise is a tech platform to be able to connect backyard and community gardeners to hunger relief organization with a longer vision of how are we building more resilient communities with really just neighbor supporting neighbor. Um, so we were started in 2016 here in Denver, uh, which is where I'm located, um, when three organizations came together to ask the question, if gardeners had an easy way to participate in hunger relief efforts, would they? And the answer was resoundingly yes. Um, and we've really just grown from there. This past year in 2020, uh, we did update to a mobile app. You can see from the chat, a lot of you, you know, work in, in uh, food distribution, food access. And so I, I know that you all are very well aware of, and there's been a skyrocketing need of, of folks that are experiencing food insecurity. And a lot of groups are looking at, you know, how can we diversify our procurement to ensure that there's enough healthy food to be able to support that, that need that is um, growing in our communities. Um, and so that's really where we're focused is looking at um, kind of an untapped channel of, of food uh, procurement in terms of home gardeners um, with an aim of increasing the amount of healthy local produce that's available in communities while also engaging more community members in, this, in hunger relief work. Um, next slide. The, how we work is that we work with local partners um, that we refer to as operators um, because they operate Fresh Food Connect um, in their local community. And so we've tried to make sure that the tech platform is as simple and flexible to be able to be adapted to what those local community um, organizations really need uh, for their own community. Um, there are three roles uh, within the app. There are gardeners, couriers, and nonprofits. But the basic idea is that we work with a lot of gardeners um, who have small donations, but that can aggregate to a meaningful amount. And so say you're a gardener, um, you have an extra five pounds of tomatoes, you find out about the app or your local operator and you download the app, you add your donation the organization, either then will come pick it up and or you go and drop it off um, and it gets redistributed in your community. So we do have functionality both uh, to fill, sit, facilitate that either pick up and or drop off um, models with, with, uh, with the operators. So if you are a gardener and uh, your organization has selected that they are willing to come and pick it up from your, your home or community garden, you would add your donation. Um, and then on the designated time and look, um, designated time and day, uh, you would set out your produce just on your front porch and the organization would come pick it up and redistribute it in their, in your own community. And so drop off uh, is similar in that you would still add your donation, you would add those five pounds of tomatoes. Um, but in this case, instead of setting it outside of uh, your location, you actually would drive or bike or walk um, to the designated location to be able to um, drop off your donation, uh, but within designated times and locations and dates that have already been predetermined by the operator. And they, you have all that information to make it as easy as possible to make that donation. So in the case that the operator is utilizing the pickup model, meaning they're coming and picking it up from your, your home, couriers are the role that do that. And so with the courier role, it provides them all the logistical information to make it super easy and fast for them to be able to know where they're going, um, gives them maps um, and uh, knows uh, the addresses and what they're picking up um, to make it just a super seamless uh, process. So operators do have access to a mobile version um, and they also have access to a, a web app where they would spend more of their administrative uh, time setting their locations, uh, times, um, also exporting data and generally managing their account. This is our tech stack. Um, we work with a development company uh, named Pixel and Texel, which is based out of Dallas, Texas. Um, so if folks have questions about it, um, just let us know. 
So this is a testimonial from one of our participants. Uh, Monica was in a situation where that um, she needed assistance um, and thankfully that assistance was available for her. Um, and when she got to a place where she didn't need that assistance anymore um, and was able to have her own garden and was able to give back to her community um, with the produce that she was growing herself. So we really see this as a very meaningful way that people can contribute in their own community with really a focus on how are we, like I said, built, rebuilding that uh, more resilient food system. So in 2019, we were operating in 23 zip codes. We are now operating in 985 zip codes across the country. So we have a proven strategy, we've had some success, um, and we are currently uh, scaling nationally. So if you're interested in getting involved, um, we encourage you to download the app and share your bounty if you're in an activated zip code. And if you're interested in bringing Fresh Food Connect uh, to your community, either as an operator yourself, um, or you know of an organization that would be interested in partnering with us, feel free to contact me directly. And uh, my email is laura at freshfoodconnect.org. Uh, so thank you so much, appreciate your time.